Hi honeys, it's Violet again. And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit more about some of this shadow phase, Mercury going retrograde and Scorpio energy. It's really intense. A lot of people that I have been talking to in the last week are really feeling it. So let's get right into it. I shuffled the deck. Today the cards I'm using are the Hexen Tarot 2.0 and they're absolutely bonkers. You should check it out online. All right, so first card, Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is represented here by William Gibson. He's a counterculture author, cyberpunk future science fiction author and he was born and raised in the Appalachian Mountains and then moved to Virginia a little later and he's gone through quite a bit in his early years. He was affected deeply inspired by the beat poets. <clears throat> the next card, the Three of Wands grassroots, internet communities, all of these different grassroots organizations, the politics of the net. This has to do with what we now are seeking for, net neutrality. The third card, the Queen of Swords, drones, all of these robotic, machines that are used for war, for spying, that are used for a variety of different infiltrations which have to do with being absent from the space. They're all controlled from far away. Also makes me think about the drones, the bee drones. They just follow whatever they're supposed to do. All right, so I love these cards. They're very intricate, but what I'm doing when I'm reading cards that are not traditionally based on the Rider weight is intuiting what their vibe is. Hey, babies, here's the deal. The Eight of Wands, the Eight of Wands is rushing, really feeling this sense of immediacy to go forward, 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 forward. Okay, the mind is so quick. The wands are flying through. So in regards to what we're feeling a little uneasy and a little rushed about, we want to be further than we are, okay? The three of wands, you know, you know what healing you were inspired to do. You understand the calling of your soul and perhaps you've taken some really conscientious steps forward in that way, but now is not the time to rush. Don't go counting your eggs. Don't even put them in the basket. More information is needed. Patience is needed. Seeking out a more neutral path and perhaps seeking a community that supports that philosophy would be helpful to you right now. Because also, your friend and mine, the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords has been through a lot. She looks out over her queendom and she is fair, she's brilliant. She's been through hell and back. So we can't rush our healing. We can't rush our wisdom. We have to be careful about who we talk to. There's something to be said for 
this level of secretiveness, perhaps thinking in regards to Scorpio could be a little sneaky and, you know, kind of hiding in the shadows energy. So the queen of drones here, right? The queen of swords. What are you putting out there? What energy are you putting out there? Are you spying on someone? Are you psychically, whether it's intentional or not, are you looking into more than you actually need to know? Are you conjuring with your mind and with your words? You gotta be careful. Our words are spells, I keep saying this, and I have to remind myself of this as well. The time we are in now, the veil is thinning. We are still experiencing a ton of this really intense Pluto, Uranus, Neptune energy. It's bringing shit up. You've gotta be careful with how you intend. The energy is moving really fast, all right? You want to move fast. You are speaking about your intentions. You're speaking about what you express, what you've learned. But you still need to be more careful, okay? The hidden meanings behind what we communicate hold a lot of energy. So, be careful how you express how far you've come. Be careful how far you go to investigating other people in other situations. I'm not saying don't be informed, but I'm saying you also want to mind your business. You might find something that you're not ready to handle. You may discover that if you just waited a little bit more time, that the circumstances that you are feeling so intense about, maybe they just need to simmer down, you know? So uh, let me pull another card, see what I can do to kind of throw a little more light and clarity on this. All right. Because, oof, it's not easy. The Six of Pentacles. All right, Robert Oppenheimer. Hmm. Look at this. I don't really know a lot about him. Caltech, Harvard, New Mexico, Los Alamos, the Manhattan Project, World War II. Scientific director, the Trinity Test. Left wing philanthropist, communist party connections, professor of physics at the University of California, Berkeley. Cosmic rays, quantum tunneling, quantum field theory, electronic position theory. Born in 04, died in 1967, studied uh, Hinduism. All right, there's definitely some bonkers energy going on here. I was just finishing up talking about your friend and mine, Robert Oppenheimer. Anyway, he is bringing to our attention what I'm feeling is, so the Six of Pentacles is so generous and this, this, well, this is about us. Can we be generous to ourselves? Can we see the strings 
the string theory? Can we see the quantum connections that we have with our self? You know, um, another thing I was thinking about is the web, okay? And the internet, right? The World Wide Web. The web connects us all. The spider web is grandmother weavers telling of the tale. The queen of swords brings her wisdom through her pain. And the eight of wands activates. So we're looking out how this spreads out. And in this way, you know, physics, physics is what we are. There's particles going through us all of the time. We are permeable membranes. We need to monitor our gunk. So don't ignore your gunk. Just go into it. Don't wallow in the gunk. It's very tempting right now, especially with this like Scorpio vibe coming. Uh, I can feel it. Oh, it's intense. And you want to feel, 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 water, feel, feel. <sighs> anyway, I just needed to clear some of my own gunk. But be mindful, be mindful of looking into connections that you maybe don't belong. Be mindful of the web that you weave. Choose wisely, all right? Spend your time wisely. Look into healing, Look into connecting with your guides and angels, whatever it is that you believe in, something bigger than yourself, because these times are bigger than ourselves. The healing we do is the healing for others. The awareness we gain is the awareness about others. We are all connected. Internet, ethernet, the physics, this sort of invisible quantum web. Rise above. Rise above. Don't snoop. Don't snoop. But wisdom is yours. Love you.